Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a review on the ColourPop Ooh La La palette. If you've watched my previous video, I did a review on the ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette. I will link that into the description below for those of you who have not watched it and who are interested. This is one of the palettes that goes along with the It's My Pleasure collection. And so I figured, hey, let's get into it since it's February and it has a lot of appropriate Valentine February looks. And I am also wearing the Ooh La La palette today on my eyes. So let's get into the video. So as you all know, ColourPop is a vegan friendly and cruelty free brand. They also have very inexpensive makeup and the product is amazing their pigments are very bright very blendable and just really amazing so let's get into the Ulala palette it's a nine pan shadow palette and it's only worth twelve dollars and as you can see the color shades are just very beautiful and bright as you can see I have used this since I've gotten it and gotten much use out of it so let's get into the swatches okay so I'm gonna swatch the first three and the first one is tickled that real shimmery champagne color I am wearing that on my lids today I hope that this shows up it's really light so see the sparkles the next one is called soft core and it's a dusty rosy baby pink matte shade called soft core and i am using that today as my transition shade and then the next one in that row is a light pink matte as well called poodle okay this is the first row of colors they're very very pretty those mattes are so bright and bold and that tickled color is just such a pretty color. You can even use it as a highlight on your cheekbones in your highlighting areas if you would like to. So let's go ahead and remove these colors so I can swatch the other ones. Okay, so the next row features a uh, light pink sparkly glitter shade called Big Sugar and it's very pretty. The next one is called Opulent which is a magenta fuchsia color and like a metallic form. I am wearing that in my crease today. And the next one in that pan, the last one, is a bright pink matte color called Sandbar. And those are those three swatches. You see these colors are very bright and bold, but easily blendable and easily applied. That's how much product I got on my fingers. Imagine how much product you would be able to get on your brushes. So let's wash those off. And so the last row we have um, kind of like a magenta -y, burgundy matte color called Trove. Like it's got some berry colors in it. The next one we have is a bright purple matte called Caddy. It's coming up as a plum color. And then the last color we have is like a goldish metallic color called Moonstruck, which is just very, very beautiful, which you can also apply as a highlighter as well if you would like. See how beautiful these shades are? They're just gorgeous. If you're looking for a good pink palette with like a mixture of berries and pinks and that can add a little sparkle to your looks, I recommend this palette. Um, not only is it inexpensive, but the product is amazing and is well worth the $12 if not more. Um, I would recommend this for anybody and not just for Valentine looks, but you can never go wrong with pink, and I feel like everybody says their everyday wear palette, but every every palette for me is an everyday wear palette because 
they're all beautiful colors. And so I just love the packaging of these palettes as well. They are just gorgeous. And as always, they always have the name of the palette on the back and also the name of the shades. So you know which uh, where to look for in here. As always, the Cruelty Free Bunny is on the back of the palette too as well. And let's see, there it has a net weight of 0.9 times 1.10 grams of product. So there's one and a half gram, 1.1 grams of product in each pan. Um, and like I said, there's nine shades. So you get quite a deal of product for only $12. Um, so if you liked what you saw, if you like this palette or if you have this palette, hit like, comment down below what shade is your favorite. And, um, if you're looking forward to getting this palette, if you don't already have it, um, like I said before, I will link in the description below my review of the, it's my pleasure palette. And as always, I hope you all stay beautiful and you have a wonderful day. Bye.